man, I'm back. Hey, um, you know I love thermal. I used to be an IR guy, but thermal has just gotten so much better. I'm running the Zeus already. The Zeus is awesome. The problem is though, if I need to search the area, I can't have that Zeus up and just be flagging everybody with my barrel. All right, so here's my dilemma. I, uh, it's still, it's big. I want something small, handheld, that I can carry, scan the area quick, acquire those targets, so then I can get my big weapon in the, in the gunfight. What do you got? Hook me up. All right, that's probably the product I'm the most excited about is Armasite's Q14. It's a tiny thermal. It's a 640 Cork 2 core from Size Fleer. Of that, that uh, it's it's yeah. absolutely tiny. Uh, and, and this can't be possibly as good as these other ones. It's pretty impressive. Really? It's an excellent that image. Size, uh, you know, it's, it's got some excellent features, but it's also got compatibility with the, the components that come with your regular Zeus. My, my DVD recorder, backup battery box, all that. So for gathering intel or training uh, where you need to record video, you can mount this to a helmet mount, mount this to the side of your helmet on a pick rail, okay. and you can record an entire you know training mission or actually out in the field, send that video back up or use it for training purposes. Uh, one of the other features that I'm that I'm really excited about this year is there's a, a laser, either red, visible red, or IR laser. So if you have other team members that have I squared night vision, you can you can find it through thermal. They may not see it yet. Hit it with that laser. Now yeah, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of times with the regular night vision, they can't see that bad guy out there that's hiding in the bushes. Right. So with the, I can actually it's the IR laser. I could point it out to them. They would know exactly that's where great. to look. That's you said great. it does visible also. Right, there's a red option and then there's an IR option. So, you know, for the commercial market or say law enforcement where something may be better off pointed out with visible, you can use that red laser. And that, that would be big for law enforcement. Come out, you got that guy that squirts, you get out of your cop car. Hey, where's this guy hidden? I pull my little handheld thermal off my kit. The one patrolman could find it Absolutely. and then he could use visible laser pointed out. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, so that's, that's a feature I think is going to be extremely handy because, uh, you know, even in hunting environments, I tend to laze things uh, just to point them out to other people. Uh, it's good for safety, but it's also effective for, for targeting. Another impressive feature uh, of this is that it comes with a weapons mount. So it's actually got uh, mill and MOA based reticles. You can actually use this as a tiny weapon. I can pull up a reticle in it. Right, and you can use it as a small weapon sight. So if I had like a small AR or my patrol rifle in my car, I could put it on, really? Absolutely. Uh, and it'll hold zero, switching it back and forth, so there's no no concerns of it being you know six MOA off next time you throw it on. It's going to stay zeroed. And in my you know my experience so far doing the testing on it, it stayed zeroed. Uh, the reticles were nice because a lot of thermals don't have a reticle for to compensate for drop. So now you've got that. If you have targets that are farther out, you're covered with that. So the size of it, it's got to it's got to take some crazy battery. No, it runs on one CR123 battery. Uh, uh, if you do need more battery life than that, you have a couple options. There's the, the external battery pack for the Zeus that we talked about earlier. Uh, you can just plug it right into the port and, okay. and run your external battery pack with rechargeables. Or there's an adapter that screws in here and it'll let you run that rechargeable too. So you've got several battery options so you're not limited to a single type of battery that may be hard to get in certain environments. Uh, you mentioned mounting it on, a, on like the side of my helmet. Right. That's helmet mounted also. Absolutely. And it actually comes comes with a cry precision nightcap, uh, the Wilcox L4 shroud, and the Wilcox G24 mount. All that comes with it already. Yes, it does. Comes with it, uh, and then in addition to the weapons mount. So you can either run it uh, helmet mounted, head mounted on a weapon. Uh, one of the cool features I like is that you can run it on a dual mount. So you can run your PBS 14 on one eye or a mum, and then run this Q14 on your other eye and actually have both capabilities, both capabilities. and still be hands free. That's and, awesome. And I can switch eyes with that no problem. Absolutely. This thing weighs nothing. Yeah, it's about six ounces, uh, that, that's you know, three, three and a half inches long. So it's it takes up no space. Uh, one of the use cases I see for it is, uh, you know, I, I always have uh, usually dual tube goggles on. Uh, but like we talked about earlier, when you're out in the field, there's a lot of things that just don't stand out. You know, you'll find 10 times more targets with thermal. So put it on a lanyard. Uh, just hang it, hang it around your neck, neck. out scan in the area. Right. So yeah, it, it. it gets too heavy. Just always bringing that rifle right. up searching around with the, dude the this is aspect. perfect you mentioned a flagging yeah don't be flagging people with your barrel dude th this is perfect oh, hey um 
grab a bunch of them, bring them down to T1G down in Memphis. Like, Training camp, great place for us to train. I'm here to tell you. Absolutely. Uh, I want to take it with me right now, dude. Hey, thanks a lot. Right. Appreciate My it. Pleasure, Carl.